Philippine Suji Eye Clinic helps two young women to regain confidence by healing their eye problems. Experts respond to the rumors on the internet that drinking certain teas can prevent the coronavirus. Welcome to Dye Headlines, I'm Maggie Tai. Thank you for joining us. The eyes are the windows to the soul, and at the Philippine Tiji Eye Clinic Center, they are helping two young women repair their vision problem. Both patients have had vision problems since young due to injuries to the eye and suffer much residual because of it. Finally, they are able to regain confidence for life thanks to Tiji's medical assistance. 20-year-old Arlene Kanayong wants to be a policewoman. Her grades and athletic ability are all top-notch. The only thing standing in her way is her right eye. I've worked hard to complete my studies to prove that even with my eye's disability, I can make my dream come true. Her right eye's injury was a result of careless child's play by her brother. Her brother has since regretted his childhood action. If I could, I would give my eye to her because I'm very regretful it happened. Arlene, however, is not begrudging her brother. Moving on with her life, she shared her story on the internet and found people donating to her cause to help her gather funds for transportation fee to attend a Tsuji free clinic. Recently, a team of doctors fitted her for a prosthetic eye and a pair of glasses so that she can finally be a police officer. Her needs around 10,000. A prosthetic eye is about 10,000 pesos, maybe even more. Our patients simply cannot afford that. Hindi naman kakayanin ng patients natin yan eh. You have to scrape for that money. If it wasn't for Tsuji, I don't know what my future will be like. It's my fortune to have met Tsuji, and I'm forever grateful. 15-year-old Therese Fortaleza has a similar story to Arlene's. She was shot in the right eye by a toy gun when she was two. With Therese's deteriorating vision in her eye, the doctor helped by giving her a contact lens, which benefits the appearance as well as improve her vision. My dream has come true. I've been praying for this each night, and it's finally here. <laughs> Her classmate always made fun of her. This is why I'm so grateful for Tsuji. She will finally has contact lens. With their vision problems solved, the possibilities in their life have been restored. In Zimbabwe, the drought has led to devastation. Even the rest of the rain season could not alleviate this situation. City volunteers have distributed rice, helping 1,200 impoverished families. Many local residents expressed their gratitude while waiting in line to receive aid items. Let's take a look. Rain season took everyone by surprise. They had to put down a wall of sandbags to protect the rice from getting wet. The rain stopped a few hours before the distribution. The volunteers carried more than a thousand bags of rice from the warehouse. Despite the hard work, they are filled with joy. The donkey cart is our most important vehicle. This cart will bring back rice for eight households. In Zimbabwe, city volunteers will distribute rice, cooking oil, soaps and other supplies for 1,200 households. According to Zimbabwe's tribal tradition, when people curve their palms together facing the sky, they're expressing their gratitude. Many residents do so when they're waiting in line for the supplies. The distribution came in time. My family and I have been hungry for a long time. 
In Zimbabwe, many people are going hungry. We're very grateful that you give our rice to the sick and poor as well as orphans. They put on a skit portraying how the neighbors join hands to help a solitary grandmother seek medical attention. They also portrayed Siji's early days when 30 housewives in Taiwan save up coins to help people in need. The local chief and government officials have donated 16 hectares of land to Ziji. In the future, there will be agriculture promotion center and pound to collect rainwater to help provide water for the residents. In Indonesia, Tangerang was flooded in early February. Ziji volunteers traveled there to assess damages. They also distribute hot food and aid supplies. When the affected residents received the hot meals, they expressed their gratitude. It stopped raining, but the river water has overflowed into residential area. At Tangerang's low-lying areas, the flow water is as high as the roof. With unstable weather, most residents are trapped at home. The water level fluctuates and we do not feel safe going out. City volunteers assessed damages and started to distribute aid supplies, including dye noodle, rice, buckets, soap and other daily necessities. They hope the affected residents can patiently wait for the water to recede. I'm very grateful to Tsuchi because many items at home have been flooded. Besides distributing aid supplies, the volunteers also prepare hot meals and deliver them door to door. As they fill up the residents' stomachs, they also deliver love and warmth. These supplies are very helpful. There are buckets, soap, and detergent. The volunteers provide affected residents with daily necessities, imbued with their best wishes, helping them get through the tough times. In Indonesia, Tsuji Batan Liaison Office hosted a Lunar New Year prayer ceremony to gather the goodness of everyone and pray for the worldwide epidemic to be eased soon, so that everyone can have a safe and peaceful New Year. Tsuji Batam Liaison Office hosted three New Year prayer ceremonies in two days and over 1,500 people participated. The video of Tsuji's footprint in 2019 took the participants to review the last year. The great love of Tsuji all over the world has moved many people and made them want to reciprocate the love. In the video, we saw the disasters everywhere in the world last year. I'm grateful that I live in Batan Island and we're safe here. That's why we should do as much as we can to help those in need. Ria and her husband were invited to share Tsuji's compassion. The bamboo coin banks in their hands are the gifts they want to give to repay the love. We never forget about the love Tsuji volunteers have shown us. Today we'll take this bamboo coin bank and tell our children to stay up daily to spread the great love. Wina, who's in the gray volunteer uniform, invites everyone to become part of the Tsuji big family joyfully. I can't reciprocate the love with money, but I have time and energy, so I'll be a volunteer. I have a wish that is to bring in more volunteers to be a great force to help each other. At the end of the event, everyone received red envelopes of wisdom and blessing, which symbolize the master and global Tsuji volunteers love. They pray for a peaceful new year free of disasters. Tsuji volunteers in Panshan has long helped the deserted to students whose family may be struggling financially. This year they assisted 119 students from 25 different schools. Among them is fifth grader Chu Snong Chong. This is his first time as a Tsuji News Shoot scholarship recipient. 
He is an only child and has always been to help his mother to household shirts. At school, he is a helpful student. Now that Siji is hand in hand, this fifth grader educational pain is sure to be smoother. On this early morning, Tiu Sung Chung went to the badminton courts with his mother, but he's not there to hit the birdie around. Instead, he's helping his mother. As their family's financial situation is not ideal, Tio's mother works odd jobs to make ends meet. And while only 11 years old, Tio knows to help out around the home when he's done with his schoolwork. He's the pride of their family. No, sometimes we give him two or three dollars to use, and he will save up to use it. When it rains, I wash the laundry at night, and when I head to work the next day, if the sun is out, he will hang up the laundry to dry without me asking. He's not only a wonderful son, but too is a wonderful student, as he gets good grades and is very helpful at school. He's very helpful in the classroom. Actually, all the students take on some classroom responsibility, but he's a team leader and he's very responsible. Under the recommendation of the school, Tio received Tsuji's new suit scholarship this year, and it has greatly reduced his family's financial burden. Now that we have Tsuji's help, our burden is relieved. I'll tell him to put effort into his studies and be a contributor to society in the future. With the help of the new suit scholarship from Tsuji, Tio is able to walk more firmly on his educational path. With the looming epidemic outbreak of the novel coronavirus, there are many wives' tales out there circulating on the internet on how to prevent catching the virus. Today we take a closer look at a more recent tale of drinking a certain type of tea helps to combat the virus. A pot of quality tea is something many people enjoy. However, there has been information circulating on the internet stating drinking black tea and poor tea can combat the novel coronavirus. I don't believe it has that property. I think washing the hands with soap and wearing a protection mask is the best measure. I think any quality tea is good for the health. No matter if it's green, black or oolong tea, it's beneficial. On the internet, there are rumors that black tea and poor tea, which is filled with theoflavin, can help fight the novel coronavirus. However, doctors reveal there is no such medical finding. We have not found any conclusive evidence that tea or beverages have properties which help combat the novel coronavirus. There are no medical reports which says that by drinking or gargling it's conclusive. Taking in exercise, eating a balanced diet to increase one's immunity is the real way to protect against this virus. Tsuji volunteers from Penang went to a Buddhist temple to provide free vegetarian buffet for the Buddhist masters and attendees of a Buddhist ceremony and to promote the benefits of vegetarianism. 
The fragrance of vegetables permeates throughout the temple ground. It is from the vegetarian meals Chichi volunteers provided for the Buddhist masters and the attendees of a ceremony in this temple. We fully support the vegetarian meals that Zuji is providing. You are so skillful in using whatever materials you have and turn them into so many delicious meals and promote them. So it helps us nurture compassion that we don't want to kill animals. And it's also important that people who eat it also become healthy. Zuji volunteers turn vegetables, fruits and jinsu food products into various cakes and meals. They also lay them out in a way that is attractive. Your lunch is very delicious and colorful. I've been a vegetarian for 40 years, and I always eat anything with compassion. This meal gives no burden to our hearts when we eat it, and we will feel very comfortable. When we eat it, we know it is very helpful to our body. Chichi volunteers hope more people will embrace vegetarianism, so more blessings will be created to rid of calamities. Lin Ji Chen Temple, located in Taipei, conducted a 10 day 10,000 Buddha ceremonies during the Lunar New Year. The temple held a ceremony last year, and Chichi volunteers provided free vegetarian meals for the attendees, winning the praise of ceremony attendees. Therefore, the temple again asked Chichi volunteers to provide vegetarian meals for the ceremony this year again. These Zizi volunteers are busy washing through ingredients, cutting them and cooking them at the Zizi Butter Office in Taipei because they are preparing lunch for the attendees of the 10,000 Buddha ceremony at the Linji Hu Guo Chan Temple. We have around 25 kitchen volunteers every day, so I arrive here at 7 in the morning. Those who are cooking are delighted to cook for the attendees. They also wish that we could all survive this new coronavirus epidemic. The main chef is Xu Mingyuan, who owns a restaurant business. He hopes to spread vegetarian meals to more people with his cooking skill. I wish that everyone can take up vegetarianism to stop this killing that shouldn't have taken place. Then the world will become more peaceful. The vegetarian meal in this meal box is very delicate, so it is different from the vegetarian meals we buy from vegetarian restaurants. In one previous ceremony, we experienced the vegetarian meal prepared by Ciji, so our perception on the vegetarianism has changed. Ciji volunteers hope that they can form good affinities with the Buddhists from other temples by providing vegetarian meals, and also hope more people can stop eating meat, leading to the end of this epidemic. Ciji volunteers in Hualien went to the recycling station to store materials as well as second-hand goods. They also made three wishes for the Lunar New Year as environmental protection and a love of the earth has inspired these actions. They took also time to protect against this most recent epidemic. Okay. 120 Zizi volunteers from Hualien went to the recycling station where epidemic prevention efforts were underway, including sterilizing their hands to protect themselves and others. They then began their recycling work to protect the earth. They had these three Lunar New Year wishes. Volunteers also neatly hang piles of used clothing and supplies in this warehouse, giving new life to used items. After these used clothes are cleaned and dry, they'll make some people very happy, as we can give new use to this clothing. The biggest purpose is to recycle these resources, and they can be born again as the old is giving way to new life. Everyone cherishes resources and share their three wishes for the Lunar New Year. It may all start from a small place, but this will inspire more people to protect the environment and society. 
After the New Year holidays, recycle items pile up at City Recycling Station. Xinjiang Zhonggang Recycling Station borrowed a venue from the nearby elementary school and invited over 100 volunteers to store their recycle boats. Let's go join them there. Three piles of recycled goods were collected before the Nuna New Year. On the first weekend after the break, Siji invited more than 100 volunteers to organize them together. We usually give gifts during festivals, so we got many gift boxes. Also, we should change our daily habits to avoid using disposable items. The Ronfu Elementary School opened up the space for volunteers and their family to do recycling. A college student, Liao Jingwei, used his winter break to come do recycling for the first time. When we collected all the recycled items, that's how you will know what an astonishing amount of recycled goods we produce in Taiwan. Li Jiayu, who's a sophomore in college, helps his father to carry recycled goods often. He also joined to help this time. I'm very touched. Normally, people want to keep distance with these recycled items. But here, so many people are willing to sort them. It's not an easy task. Chen Shu may hope to seize the chance to educate her son to do recycling from the very beginning. For these young people, they care more about convenience, so they often bring home disposable utensils. This time, I believe he has learned a lot. The community school worked with the recycling station to invite more young volunteers to join hands to protect the earth. Taiwan Lantern Festival has opened in Taichung's Holy Lantern area on February 8th. Such exhibition displays lanterns with the themes of Jin's aphorisms and environmental protection. The volunteers have also prepared alcohol spray for the visitors to disinfect their hands to prevent spread of virus. Join the fest with us. Taiwan Lantern Festival opened in the morning, and as the weather was good, many people came to see the lanterns. <laughs> At the Tsuji exhibition area, volunteers provide alcohol spray for the visitors to disinfect their hands. After seeing the lanterns with the theme of environmental protection, the visitors have gained much. It is quite good. It raises our environmental awareness. It is really good. It's number one. The exhibition decoration centers around the theme of Jinxi aphorisms and environmental protection. The lanterns are made with recyclable materials, and there's Jinxi aphorism drawing activity. Do you know its meaning? Sometimes when we make mistakes, we are too embarrassed to apologize. If we are unwilling to admit our mistakes, it is because we cannot let go of our egos. There are sky lanterns and blue dive clothes with Jin aphorisms on them. It is to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Jin aphorisms. At another era, our Tsuji Buddhism school area, our theme is the 30th anniversary of environmental protection. Tsuji exhibition area is located in Taiwan Lantern Festival's Holy Man Lantern area inside the religious lantern area. The exhibition will last till February 23rd, and whether visitors go there in the daytime or night, they can enjoy different views. Dharma Master Zhen Yan keeps on reminding everyone to beware of the novel coronavirus epidemic and adopt vegetarian diet to stay healthy. Tsuji Global Location have continued to pray day and night for the illness to be relieved. Let's join them and see you next time.